What is up, YouTube? I'm One Sneaky Squatch, and welcome back to Pandora's Island on Ark Survival Evolved. <clears throat> um, so last episode, I explored. Let's get into the house because that uh, Alpha Rex is still over there. So, yes, uh, last episode, I explored the redwoods, the volcanic area, and the ice area, and I found that the map is pretty unfinished. Like, the terrain is all there, but there's nothing in those areas. Um, so, today, I'm going to explore. <clears throat> desert and then the islands and let's hope that those areas are finished all right let's get our pteranodon and just get up and go okay here we go Alright, so I was coming to the desert island, or the desert area, through this southern little valley, and I came across this. This is really cool. Look at this. I've noticed that these statues are kind of all over the place. Not these big ones, but... Wow, this is pretty cool. Look at that. I wonder if there's anything... Behind. Ooh, I need to get some stamina, so I'm going to rest right in his lap. Okay, let's see if we got anything behind this waterfall. So that is probably my favorite thing, is finding caves behind waterfalls. Which, ah, it's stuck. Doesn't seem to me like... Those are pearls or something? I don't know. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything behind him. And behind the waterfall, at least. Ah! This is annoying. Yep, doesn't seem like there's anything there. But this is really cool. Regardless. If there's caves behind the waterfall or not. Alright, well... Oh, look at this place, too. What? So this is all on green. Which... It looks like this area is pretty well finished. This is dope! Look at this! What? This is really awesome. Let's see if we can get in this thing. Huh! Nice! Let's leave him right here for now. And then see if there's anything down here that I can explore. Really? Just dead ends? That's a shame. Huh. I mean, that would be a good place to put a little hidden base, but... <clears throat> it's kind of a shame that that just doesn't... doesn't go anywhere. You'd figure that that would be a really good place to put a cave. Anything back here? No, no, no. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in this... Yeah, it would be this that would be the perfect place for some sort of cave. Any sort of cave in here? Nope. Dang. Alright, well, I mean that's really cool regardless. Okay, so it looks like we're coming up on the desert area. And obviously there is still um beach land that surrounds this area. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's see if there's anything in this drop that I want. Oh, medium crop plot. <laughs> of course, medium crop plot. Alright, so let's get over into this desert area. Anything in here? Anything in here? Sending crossbow? Sure, I'll go for that. I don't think I'm going to be staying on Pandora's Island, but sure, why not? Why not? Alright, well, at least this looks somewhat finished. Alright, let's check out the actual desert part. Okay, so this is pretty sandy. Not a whole lot of stuff out here. Okay, so this looks like the main sand dunes area, and then there's probably going to be more stuff inward. Inland? 
But yeah, for now, let's just check out the sandy area, see if there's actually anything here. What is that? What? Okay, this just got a whole lot more interesting. Oh, looks like there's some death going over there. <clears throat> Alright, well, I've, I've arrived at whatever the heck this thing is. Um, there seems to be scattered pieces of something all around the place, but yeah, this is a giant inverted pyramid with a regular pyramid at the bottom. I'm just getting some stamina right now, and I'm going to jump in a little closer and take a look. Also, this would be another great place for a cave. Gives off the sound of an obelisk. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any way in. That's really cool, though. Let's check out the top of this thing. See if there's anything up here. <laughs> okay, there's water up here. And... Dinos! <laughs> Instead of a Lonosaur? Yeah. Okay, well... It doesn't make sense that there's dinos up here, but at least I know where the Velanosaurs are. And water. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Not really a whole lot out here in terms of, uh, desert. But these are the dunes, not the desert mountains. So let's go check out, uh, this... It looks to be like a Colosseum. Oh, and this Colosseum is in Scorched Earth. Yeah, I've seen this before. This is cool. I don't remember what you do with the Colosseum in Scorched Earth. I think there's like... I want to say that there's a boss fight there, but probably not. <clears throat> I mean, look at that. That's pretty sweet. Nice little Colosseum out here. Oh, we need to get some stamina. Let's, uh... Let's hang out here for a minute. Get some stamina. Alright, well, red ob looks the same as green ob. It just has this one little uh, bit of ruin around it. Yep, there's... Red ob, let's skip. Okay, I mean, if you've seen red ob, you've seen red ob, so... I think that inverted pyramid is still so cool. Um, but yeah, let's check out the rest of this desert area. And then uh, we can start checking out the islands after that. Yeah, as you can see, there really isn't a whole lot in the desert here. Oh, well, there's, as I speak, there's a Giga right there. <laughs> yeah, I was fighting them, um, an Arthalopleura, and yeah, I broke my armor, so yeah, that's why I'm naked. Um, doesn't really seem to be anything else out here aside from, you know, the basic stuff that you can find in the deep desert. Uh, let's make our way... What is that? Is that an actual island out there? Or is that just a peninsula? That's kind of an island. I'll, I won't check it yet, but let's check out um, the these desert mountains and see if we got anything here that's interesting. Yeah, well, we got something interesting, that's for sure. Look at this. That's a pretty cool statue, and looks like I found the uh, Wyvern Cave. Look at that. It's a trike in armor. Or a parasaur. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well I'm gonna go down into the Wyvern Cave because I don't really care if I die. <laughs> I'm gonna get my stamina back first, though. Alright, here we go. Oh, cool. Looks like we do have Wyverns. Alright, so the question is, is do we have eggs? That's alright, my bird's faster. Okay, alright, so this is the Wyvern Cave. Here's the way out. This is pretty nice. I like this. Let's see if we can find any eggs. While I'm here, might as well. Alright, well, let's stop for some stamina real quick. I think I lost that one Wyvern. 
that was following me. I just need a little bit of stamina. Okay, there we go. Alright, um... I am not seeing any eggs. I'm not even seeing any nests. Yeah, I'm not gonna wanna... continue this bad if there aren't miverns. I mean, this underground area is pretty... I will say so. This is... Pretty good des level design. But, as I said it before, it's just not finished. This will be one hell of a map once it is. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yep, seems as if this area is not quite finished yet either. Um, we're gonna get a little. Ooh, come on, come on over here. We're gonna get a little bit of stamina back before we run past all these guys. Okay, here we go. Let's get out of here. Woo! There we go. There's the cave, the way out. Nice. Okay. Well, it's good to know that there is a cave and there are wyverns here. And there's void worms as well, so that's pretty cool. Void worms and worms. Alright, well, let's check out. Um, anything in there? Oh, that's not bad. I'm gonna wait for that to come down, but. Soon we're gonna check out. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! <laughs> Gotta run. Oh, yeah, they're gonna follow me for a while. Um. Crap. Alright, well, looks like I'm not gonna get that gear. I'm just gonna go check out the uh, mountainous region of the desert. And then we'll just have the islands left over. Okay, we are over top of the desert mountains. Um, I think I got the wyverns off my back. It doesn't seem like these are done either. Because there's no vegetation at all. Even if it's a desert, there still is some vegetation. Yeah, okay, this isn't finished either. I really like what they did with the arc, like the um, the actual topographic part of the map, but um, it didn't say anywhere in the workshop that it wasn't finished yet. But that's okay, you know. This is a really cool map regardless. So I guess we'll just go... Is that another waterfall that I see? Alright, I'm gonna check out, see if there's anything in this waterfall or anything else in these desert, uh, desert mountains. This would be good spots for, uh, for bases. That's for sure, if it had resources and everything. Alright, I'm gonna go check out whatever this, uh, waterfall is. Oh, this is a swamp, right? This is a swamp? Yeah, okay, I've been over here. This is just a swamp. Okay, alright, well... That's good to know, that that's right there. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back to base, get my gear repaired, and then we're gonna start checking out all the islands. Okay, let's... Oh, it's all nasty and foggy and rainy out, but that's alright. We're gonna go check out these islands. Um... After the islands, we will have just the underwater section to explore before all of Pandora's Island has been uncovered. Come on. Close the door. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's start. Tyranodon has a level. Let's put that in move speed. I did enable classic flyers. Let's take a look. So, first island's out there. Actually, there's something out that direction. Yeah, let's just go straight that way until we find whatever this little sandbar looking thing is. Alright, we are approaching what looks to be just a little barren, abandoned island. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Yep, literally just a piece of land. Nothing on it. Hmm, okay, alright. That's fine. 
Whatever, I will get my stamina and... Oh, there's, there's an island right there as well. Is that, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be the, the main big one here. Alright, let's go this direction. For islands. Okay, so we're gonna take... And this rain is really, really obnoxious. So we're gonna take off this direction, and we're gonna come across this big main island here. Okay, the crappy weather has finally stopped. We're approaching this other island out here, which it looks really cool, but also looks unfinished. The topographic part of it I really, really like, but the fact that it's not done, eh, well, you know, I mean, it's a work in progress. But this is a really cool little section of island. This would be a really good spot for a main base. <laughs> Either up on that little bump, or... Yeah, up on top of this mountain would be a great spot for a base. Almost looks like that's what it was designed for. Oh yeah, look at this. Perfect. Perfect spot for a base. With a secondary level. Oh man, yeah, this is a great island. Also another spot over here, so this is definitely an island cluster for a mega tribe, absolutely. And then this third island, or not not even necessarily a mega tribe, but a mega um, alliance. Because then there's this third island that has opportunity as well. I'm about to run out of stamina. Stamina's back. Yeah, even this third little island has some pretty good looking spots that are nice and flat. Be excellent places for bases. Um, the only disadvantage is that, well, and it also is an advantage, is that it's closer to water. Uh, sometimes that can be a bad thing because people can use boats for PvP. Um, but, I guess that's a risk you take. Alright, hopefully I got enough stamina to make it to this other island. Alright, we're coming up on this this next island. It also looks really cool, but it also looks unfinished. Um, I guess we are starting to get into the snow biome here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Little, little thing. I wonder if there's anything in there. This would be a nice little base spot. You could keep your... Uh, build a base across this. Keep your water dinos inside your base. That's pretty nifty. I like the design of that. But, yet again, unfinished. Oh, and I, of course I can't get out. <laughs> there we go. Alright. This is nice. I do like this. Um, let's go right here. Oh, that's that first one right there. Yeah, so the map is definitely a little off, for sure. Alright, let's see if I got enough stamina to make it to this next time. Alright, we're coming up on this next island. This is fully a uh, winter island. Which also, yet again, it, uh, it looks really good topographically. But it's just not finished yet. Perfect places for bases. Plenty of space. See, yeah, see, up on top of this big mountain would be a great spot for a base. Look at that, yeah. Perfect. It was designed to have a base built on it. This is quite awesome. Let's see if there's anything in this drop. Metal pillar, okay. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the next island is that big... Um, frozen one that I've been to already, so I'm just gonna skip right over that and go to the other... the other... Uh, excuse me, the other Arctic Islands. Oh, there goes the weather again. Alright, we've made it to the next little section of Arctic Islands. Come on, boy. there we go. Obviously this isn't anything, so I'm not even really gonna stop, except for maybe just grab a little bit of stamina. But, um, yeah, this is pretty useless. I'm sure that there will be penguins on this at some point. 
let's get over to this next island. Okay, and here we have a pure Arctic island. Obviously the map's a little off, but you can see where we're at. Um, there's actually a drop here. Well, it looks like it's going to go straight into the water. But yeah, this island's pretty useless too. Um, I'm sure it will be just penguins and bears and... You know, whatever, uh, whatever other, you know, extreme Arctic dinos that they put there, and I'm kind of feeling like this island's probably going to be exactly the same too. But you know, somebody will be crazy enough to build here. Why not? It's out of the way, you know. It's not going to hurt. All right, so it looks like those are the next ones down there. So it looks like that. Island there? What? That doesn't make any sense. So I think... You know, I'm not really sure. I think the island I'm on is that second one on the left, down. Uh, so yeah, the map is way off. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna go check out down in these temperate, those temperate islands, see if there's anything good down there. Ah, okay, I get it. I'm on to this next island here. Same Arctic island, but it's the one that's shaped like a U. So you can see there how far off the map is from my actual location. Let's see if there's anything in here. Mastercraft Kite and Helmet. Sure, why not? Let me let me grab that. Why not? And this island looks like it's actually decent for bases. So that's that's a plus. Um, I personally wouldn't build a base here, but, you know, you got two little sections right there where, or two or three little sections there where you're up off the ground, you got a nice big bay for, a, for, a, for your water dinos, and, yeah, this wouldn't be all that bad. The only disadvantage is, it's, you know, an Arctic island, and it's, your base would be pretty close to the water, so there would be a possibility for, uh, for gunships, I guess you could, you could call them. Okay, so yeah, then there's the volcano right there. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna go and find a to check out these temperate islands and see if there's anything on them. Alright, we're coming up to this first temperate island. One on top, which looks like it's also very, very good for base building. You know, look, nice big flat platforms. Nice space in the middle. Yeah, this is also another good spot for like a mega tribe or an alliance. Yeah, it would be difficult having one person build a base on this because somebody would easily be able to build another base right over there. But yeah, alright. Ooh, the sun's going down. Let's see if I can make it to this other island. Let's go to that top one first before the sun goes down. There we go. Made it before the sun went down. This would be a nice little island for a, a small tribe or one person to build a little base on. Because they could easily take over the whole island. Yeah, this is nice. Start off right here, you know, so you're kind of hidden and out of the way. Eventually build yourself a big tower or something. Yeah. Alright, well, it looks like I'm going to have to wait out the night. But, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you once, uh... Actually, let's, let's just get over here. Let's just get to this island right over here. Not worry about it. Um, we still have this desert island to look at that I intentionally skipped over. But yeah, this is another good island for base building, it looks like. Nice big flat platforms. Um, lots of space for alliance members or other buildings or whatnot. So yeah, I guess I will... Is that? Oh, that was just a reflection. Never mind. I will sit and wait the night out here. All right. All right, we're here at this desert island. Um, seems like it's basically two islands put together. Yet again, another good spot, it looks like, for base building for a large tribe or an alliance. Uh, let's check out this other little section. And one of the benefits of this island is it's pretty dang close to the mainland. So you have access to the volcano, redwoods, desert, and then obviously if you go past there you get swamp and everything. Um, 
yeah, another good good base location. This one's not quite as flat. Hey, you could even put something on top of this if you really, really wanted to. <laughs> like me for stamina. Alright, so the next one is going to be more a little bit more deserty as well. Um Yeah, let's check this out. Did I check out that weird peninsula? Oh, that's Red Ob. That's what that is. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to go right this direction, past Red Ob, to this desert island out here. Alright, we are coming up on this island that looks like it's half desert, half temperate. I barely had enough stamina to make it here, and it is still foggy and annoying. I want this fog to go away. Okay, let's check out this island. We have some real big trees here. Oh, huh, those are interesting. Those are all platform base build buildable, I would imagine. This is the first island I've seen that actually has something on it. <coughs> so yeah, this would be a really interesting place to build because it was half desert, half forest. That'd be all about it. Let's see what the top of this little cliff looks like. Seems like it's clear up here. Fog is just kind of hanging down. Eh, not quite flat, but definitely buildable. Oh yeah. This is a nice little island. I like this. These big trees, you could put platform bases everywhere, and those will be your, uh, your, uh, your turrets. Your turret bases. So yeah, this would have to be a large, a large, um, tribe as well. Okay, let's go check out this this big island down in the bottom bottom left corner so yeah it's only a couple more islands left to go okay we've made it to this big island down in the bottom left and this looks nice this is definitely not something that you want to be on unless you're a real big tribe well, I mean, even if you're a small tribe, screw it. You know, you could build your base here and protect it and then just have this entire island to yourself, essentially. Let's see if there's anything in this white drop. Mastercraft craft cloth shirt. I'm good on that. Um, let's get to the top of this mountain. And it's kind of cool. It's got its own little lake. Nice. This is a pretty cool little island. Let's get up to the top and rest for stamina. Yeah, okay. So, overall, this is a nice little island. This would be pretty good little... Oh, look at that. This is... What? This is meant to have a mega base in. And it's surrounded by rock wall. Oh, man, this is a killer spot. Look at that. It, this was designed to have a mega tribe build in. Because then the only way up is this big, long path. Oh, that's so nice. Right down here, they could have their marina. Oh, man, this is wicked. Or even right there, but yeah, this looks better. Man, this is a cool island. Too bad it's not finished. That's kind of weird. What is that? Strange markings. It's like oil. Huh. Alright, well... Let's check out these other two little small guys off of the coast of this big one, and then it's on to the next. Okay, we made it to this little tiny island. This isn't really much of anything. I mean, you could build here, but that just doesn't seem very good. That's just a random island. This looks a little bit better to build on because there's this big open platform right here. This is doable for sure. I wouldn't personally want to build here unless it was like PvE or role playing or something. That would be nice. Yeah, you get your base right here. Then you got your marina right there and any space extra space down there and over there. Yeah, this is not a bad little solo spot. Hello, anything in you? 
Oh, basic bullshit. Okay, so on to the next island, I believe, is going to be that one. Uh, let me hold for some stamps, and I will see you when I get there. Alright, we are coming up on this island, which is really cool looking, and it has these strange statues sticking out of it, like Stonehenge. Nice area for a marina. Yeah, these look like Stonehenge heads. What? Yeah, okay. It's Easter Island, guys. That's pretty cool. This is legit like Easter Island. Hmm. Let's go check out up, up, up on top of this ridge. Which probably is going to be a really good place to build bases. Yeah, see, there's just these island heads everywhere. Yep, great spot for a base right here. Great spot for a base right here. Great spot for a base right there. Yeah, this is definitely a mega, a mega, um, mega tribe base. Or an alliance base. Not saying that you can't do it solo, but it just makes more sense for a mega tribe to have this. Oh, and look at that, yeah. This is great. Nice little cove for a marina. Good place for a tower there. Good place for a tower here. This is definitely like a nice PvE setting for a solo player. It's really nice. I like it. Not quite even, but you know. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over there. Huh, that's weird. Let's see what this is all about. Huh. Yeah, there's just a big group of them. Hmm, that's really interesting. I wonder what they're all looking at. Hmm, alright. Well, <laughs> on to the next spot, I guess. Okay, so we did notice that there were these two little mini islands basically uh, on the way to the big island down there. So I wanted to check them out. Oh, and it looks like they actually have stuff on them. Wow. So this island's finished, obviously. Doesn't seem to have any dinos, but it's got plants and rocks and metal. And this wouldn't be too bad of a spot to... Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. This wouldn't be too bad of a spot to build a base, just up on top of this thing. Some obsidian? Nice. What's up here? Just metal? Yeah, yeah. See, this isn't too terrible. And it's finished. It's right next to the area that is finished. Whoa, look at that. That looks cool. See that? It's like Pride Rock, kinda. That's pretty nifty. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff on there. Okay, let's, uh... This... Yep, okay, this is the last island. We're almost back around to our base, but this will be the last island that we check out on this little tour. Um... Yeah. Okay, we are approaching the last island on the tour of the map. Um, and this is the island that is pretty close to... Um, my base, and it actually looks like it's finished, so that's really good. This would be a nice spot for a solo player to build something on. Hmm, yeah, this is completely finished. I like it, I like it. Great places for base building. What the... Wow. This is cool. This is really cool. What is that? Wow, they did a lot of good work on this island. Holy smokes. There's just crazy stuff everywhere. Wow. 
could build on any one of those. You could build on any... Oh, this is a great island. There is so much potential here. You almost would never have to leave. Oh, is that little island out there? Oh, yeah, I did. Never mind. I knew that was out there. Yeah, you almost would never even have to leave. Oh, that one. I know I haven't been to that one yet, either. That was the last island, yeah. There are so many possibilities here. Wow. This is some great level design. Wow. Wow. Just, just more and more wow. Holy crap. Yeah, you wouldn't even ever, ever have to leave this island except for maybe crystal. Oh no, there's obsidian there. Maybe crystal? What is this? Oh, I am just about out of stamina. Oh, and there's a Rex right there. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, the only thing I haven't seen on this island yet is crystal. And I bet you there's some here. I'm just missing it. Oh, sabers. There's carnivores. There's everything you need. Look at that. This is wild. It's huge. Oh my god. I cannot believe how good of a job they did on this. Yeah, you would almost never have to leave this island. There's everything here that you possibly could need, except crystal. That's the only thing I haven't seen. There's plenty of carnivores, there's rexes, there's... Wow. That's a cool colored one. Okay, we got our stamina back. Check out these little bits. These little tiny islands. Also good spots. Wow, this is just... I cannot believe how good of a job they did with this. Just little... Little, little nothingness out here. Shoot, I mean, that wouldn't be the worst place to start off. Seems like everything you need is right here, except for metal. What is that in the water that I just saw? Oh, whatever. But yeah, alright, let's go check out um, the other re the rest of this island. Crazy pillar thing. I want to see what this is. I don't... Uh, yeah, this is weird. This is by far the coolest landscape I've seen on this map. Okay, I take that back. The tree was really, really cool. What? There's a whole castle up here. There is a whole castle up here. And it turns into swamp? Oh my goodness. What? That is wild. See, it just connects to a bridge. More, more ruins over here. So this looks like where the city was. Yeah, this looks like the, uh, what was the city of this castle. And it's just littered in metal. This is cool. Oh, you can go, oh yeah, this is, this is exactly where I would build my base, inside the castle. Yeah. Duh. Wow. This is quite incredible. There's another tower. Okay, so the main area of the castle is just this inside spot right here. Yeah, this is this is perfect for a base. I wonder if you can get in the tower. Oh, and the sun's going down. Of course it is. Oh, wouldn't that be so cool if you could get inside that thing? Well, this is just wicked. This... Oh, this entire island is great. I've got one more little section to check. But, you know, I really don't need to, because I can just see that this is awesome. I'm going to head back to the base. This has been an incredible trip. Um... I have seen all that Pandora's Island has to offer. Um, I have, I mean, there's actually a whole another world underwater.